New at five on the border, an examination of the dangers migrants face when they cross the border illegally. Agents and other law enforcement in the El Paso sector have rescued more than 300 migrants this fiscal year. ABC 7's Eddie Berto Perez joins us live from the border wall with this story. Eddie. Good afternoon, Stephanie. U.S. Border Patrol in the El Paso sector spoke about all these dangers migrants face, such as dehydration, injuries, and deaths, among others, as migrants continue to listen to transnational criminal organization. the, uh, organizations. This event, No Se Arriesgo or Do Not Risk, aims to raise awareness among our community and migrants to not cross the border illegally. Some of them are still being smuggled and being pro promised of a safe cross into the U.S. U.S. Border Patrol Chief in El Paso sector, Anthony Scott Good, said in fiscal year 2023, our sector had a total of 249 deaths. Most of those deaths were recorded here at the Santa Teresa Desert. Chief Good also said some of the destinations migrants are heading to are heading to once they cross into the U.S. through New Mexico. Many migrants entering the United States through New Mexico find themselves pressured by smugglers to evade authorities on their way to destinations such as Las Cruces, Albuquerque, and the state of Texas. These coerced migrants are encouraged to get into vehicles and flee, a dangerous practice that often leads to accidents. And guys, U.S. Border Patrol along the Texas Department of Public Safety and other agencies conducted several simulations of the operations they do while trying to rescue or apprehend migrants that have crossed into the U.S. illegally. I will show, I will have more on today's event coming up tonight on ABC7 at 6. Reporting live from Sunland Park with our New Mexico Mobile Newsroom, Heriberto Perez, ABC7. Thank you, Heriberto.